So there is someone from your past who is somewhat in a space of regret. I feel this energy is in a space of regret because they feel you're unbothered. Someone feels like you're unattached or unbothered when it comes to them or their current situation. However, I do feel many of you had to disconnect to somewhat safe self. This is someone who is definitely frustrated. Frustrated and having money issues. I also feel there's a frustration when it comes to a sneaky link or someone who was just supposed to be temporary in their life. I feel this energy is frustrated also by relocating. Because they're now feeling like they should have never ignored the fact that they had unfinished business with you. This energy possibly ignored something when it comes to you because of someone else. This energy relocated. Now they feel there's a closed door when it comes to you. Someone feels like they're closed off from your energy and they are experiencing the unknown alone. This is someone who is experiencing the unknown when it comes to cycles that they're continuing to repeat and they're starting to ask why why me this energy is feeling like they didn't have to chase someone feels like they don't want to chase but they know that you are special but they also feel like you have your heart on lock Someone feels like you have your heart or your emotions unlocked. They feel like you're unattached or detached from the situation. You're completely unbothered. Even so, many of you are worried or trying not to worry about this energy, even though you know you've been very generous. Many of you know you were very generous to this energy, and they're trying to figure it out. This is someone who's trying to figure out why they were so nasty, why they were so complacent with you when they know that you were gener generous, but now they're seeking some sort of sympathy. They're stuck between wanting forgiveness and just saying, I'm sorry. This is someone who is experiencing a lot of karma. And they want you to understand something. This is someone who wants you to understand something when it comes to someone who is temporary, someone who is just friends with benefits. But this energy feels like there's too many trust issues and you just won't believe anything they say. This energy feels like there's too many trust issues and drama, confusion that has brought a wedge between the two of you. They feel the confusion and the drama has caused too much pain. They are sitting in a space where they're contemplating if they should make a move. Yet they're unsure and indecisive. Someone here is coming out with catfish energy. Someone could be dealing with a snake in disguise. Someone who is pretending to be a friend but is a complete enemy. This energy feels powerless to this energy. There's a lot of drama, confusion, and someone knows that you're special. So someone knows that you're special in this energy's life and they're trying to keep the distance there. This energy is now realizing someone is trying to keep the two of you apart. There's some hate, there's some jealousy, heartbreak. Wow. I feel there's a lot of heartbreak and addiction that this energy is trying to hold back or hide and they're really pissed off at the fact that they even left you. Someone knows that what they had with you was forever, but they did not use their intuition. In fact, I feel they kept so many secrets that they now see themselves alone. They think about home all the time. They think about their soulmate. They think about the fact that you were a gift. Someone is in a very dark head space because now they feel like they were catfished. They feel like they were catfished by someone who is definitely not who they say they are. They know that they ignored something that has now left them powerless and confused. Confused to what they should do next. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here? What are the messages here? What are the energies? Um, 
so I definitely feel someone is feeling alone in the season. They think about the connection that they have with you. Someone is thinking about home. What they perceive to be a safe space. But they're still dealing with a lot of confusion, heartbreak, and addiction. Some things that this energy left with have now multiplied. This could be problems, addictions. Wow. Wow, this could even be a human life. Someone wants a door to be open when it comes to you. They want to express something, but I feel they're trying to dress something up as well. But as I said before, this energy is really ticked off. That they ignored the signs when it comes to you. Someone ignored some really huge signs when it comes to turning back or realizing the truth when it comes to you. Now someone is really realizing they should have made a different choice. This energy feels like they should have made a different choice when it comes to you. They should have chose better. There are two energies here. This could be your energy as well as someone else's, but someone knows that you were the full package. They never should have chose someone else or something else over you because now they're just wanting to bend the block. Someone is wanting to come back. In fact, for some of you, they do pass by your house. I sense this is someone who is close to you that you had to watch slip away or watch switch up on you, change, because they had too much pride to save the connection they had with you. I feel like for many of you, this energy failed to react when you walked away. So many of you just kept walking, especially since you're valid concerns has always been pushed aside now someone is thinking about the heartbreak that they caused this new life or these overwhelming energies that are surrounding them because they know they screwed up someone knows they screwed up by keeping secrets and being bitter placing the blame on others which i feel res resulted in something to go cold or dead. I also feel there's a harsh truth revealed here because you didn't allow something to just slide or be overlooked, so they decided to be petty. This energy decided to be petty with you, testing the waters even though they know they couldn't swim. And now it seems they're drowning in their own regret. I feel like this energy is drowning in their own regret as they learn the hard way genuine energies are not to be played with. Someone is realizing they should have never taken you for granted. They should have took taken you seriously. Now they could be crying in silence because they know they broke all the rules. Someone knows they pushed the boundary when they when it comes to you and now they're living in chaos, dealing with chaos, arguments. And I also feel something has blindsided them when it comes to interferences or family. This could also be friends or people they believe to be friends because they're clearly unhappy. I feel this is someone who misses you deeply. I feel this energy misses you on a very deep level and feels there's so much more that needs to be said. They still feel drawn to you. They still feel drawn to make some type of amendment with you, but they feel like they're only going to be rejected. Someone knows that you're old school about respect, love, commitment, yet I sense they only played with your heart. They played with this connection, causing things to be separate or there's some type of divide. But I also feel this energy knows they need to make a decision. Someone knows a decision needs to be made, yet they're dreading what's to come. For many of you, they may even need liquid courage to get through this, but whatever the case, they're worried. This energy is worried about the outcome. Someone's job isn't the same, the bad habits, the temper tantrums. There's a lot of financial this hardship here and this energy is definitely dealing with a lot of anxiety and frustration because they're still wearing a mask. I feel this is someone who is in anxiety because they feel you've walked away for good even after they abandoned you. 
someone thinks that you should have stayed regardless of what they did to you but I feel that it's never your energy and someone is learning that the, the hard way let's get some more energy here Holy Spirit what are the messages here what are the messages here for this energy this thing This energy knows there's a lot that needs to be said, but they feel like you're just going to reject their offer. There's a lot of secrets here when it comes to a heartbreak, but this energy, for some reason, thought that they were going to be able to talk their way out of this. Oh, wow. But this energy knows they did you dirty. This energy knows that they abandoned you. Now they're trying to find the courage to come your way. I feel this energy is getting flashbacks of what they've done. They're trying to numb the pain. This energy is trying not to think about all of the things that led them to this position, but I also feel they can't help but to think about how they got here. Someone wants your forgiveness, but they feel like it won't be easy. And they could be looking for the courage, but I feel they're doing it in a very toxic way. There's a lot of late nights when it comes to this energy. Even if this is not late nights, this energy is isolating themselves and numbing the pain by drinking, smoking, or doing some recre recreational drugs here. But whatever the case, this energy is doing it the wrong way. I also feel this energy really doesn't have the proper guidance. This is why they're doing things in the wrong way. But I also feel there's energies around them that are watching them fall on purpose. Yeah, this is someone who is needing time to make a decision here. And I feel there's control surrounding them. Someone has their foot on their neck and they're emotionally detached because of it. I feel the more that someone presses on their neck or put pressure on them, the more they think of you, the more they're drawn to you, the more they miss you. Yeah, there's interference when it comes to family members or a friend or some type of karmic energy here who is keeping them lost keeping them lost, confused, and emotionally detached. Emotionally detached from what they've done or someone is trying to tell them what they did to you wasn't wrong at all, but in their heart, they know it was wrong. They know it was the worst thing they could have ever done. In fact, this energy is needing to make a decision about their double life, and they know it. Hmm. This is someone who is serial about their condition. I feel this is someone who is constantly doing something over and over again and this is causing the mixed signals here. I feel like these mixed signals are carrying over from the toxic energies around them. Toxic people, places or things, please take it how it resonates, but I feel this is someone who is being toxic by their own will. Someone doesn't know what else to do but go along with the flow. This energy is trying not to ruffle the wrong feathers here, but I feel there's a lot going on behind their back. I also feel there's some things going on behind your back as well. And for some of you, this energy is trying to get advice from others. It's just not the right advice. Because remember, the energy surrounding them is toxic. And there's nothing positive coming from that. I feel this energy is having mixed signals here. And this energy also knows that you have a lot of questions. I feel these mixed signals is because they don't see the red flags in their life. This is causing things to drift apart when it comes to you. I feel there are shattered dreams and this energy is wanting to burn away their past. Someone is wanting something to be swept under the rug and this is why they're so annoyed with you because you're not letting something slide. You're not letting them get away with what they've done. In fact, I feel many of you are holding them accountable. Oh, uh, they're not over you. Not at all. But I do feel there's a huge transformation here that needs to take place. And it may need, it may be something that is about to end. This could be a relationship, an environment, a toxic connection, but it, whatever it is, it's a big tower moment. Something is clashing. There could be a fight. There could be some type of argument that pushes this person to finally make a decision. Because... It seems like they're going to have to hit rock bottom to see it. 
I feel like this energy is hitting rock bottom as we speak. There's a lot of clashing when it comes to something that needs to be let go. There's someone giving the silent treatment. The silent treatment can be towards you or someone around them, but they're definitely not talking. Someone's not talking, they're not speaking, even though there's some type of electric pull when it comes to the two of you, they're fighting it. They're fighting something, but I feel like someone's about to be pushed out of their position. I feel like someone's about to get kicked out or displaced, but someone is definitely worried about their security, their foundation, and their stability. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? Yeah. Someone's unattached because there's no balance. Someone's thinking about how they left you, how they avoided you, how they ghosted you. Yeah. Someone doesn't like the fact that you're giving yourself self-love. You're being intuitive. Wow, this energy just might need an intervention. I feel like this is someone who is reflecting on their bad behaviors. Because this energy is taking you through a lot. Um, because they wanted the fame, this energy wanted the attention. I feel this energy took you through a lot when it comes to emotions, finance, finances, and all because of their fear of commitment and trust issues. Yet I also sense the energy of spite. There's some petty energy here. Someone wanted a lot of attention, but I feel the attention they initially got was the wrong type of attention. It brought in the wrong type of people. And now there's a sense of regret for it. I feel like this energy had no regret until they started to see the downfall of their actions. Because now they feel they had to settle without you. This energy feels like they had to settle without you. They regret ghosting you. They should have used their intuition instead of giving you this nasty behavior. Now they're soul searching. Trying to figure out how to turn their pain into power. Not really realizing the tools that go along with it. I feel this is someone who is going through a lot and coping in a very dangerous way. I feel like this energy is coping to ease the pain. Just to operate from a very damaged heart. So what I'm feeling here, this is someone who is operating from a damaged heart and a bruised ego. Which only seems to make things worse because they're not coming from an authentic space. Because this energy has failed to be intuitively guided by their heart. As it seems this energy has hurt you on many levels, causing many of you to... Resent the love and even the help you've given because it was barely given in return. Where you have seen many sides of them, but I feel you have yet to see them come from an authentic or unselfish space. Yet I also believe they're being guided. This energy is being guided to drop the act. See something from what it is. Realization. Someone is coming to the light in some type of way, but for many of you, it just might be too late. Runner energy. Someone is realizing that they should have never ran from you because now they're living a nightmare. Someone is living a nightmare because they failed to compromise. Someone failed to compromise, communicate, or bring some type of clarity to a situation. So they've isolated themselves. This energy has isolated themselves because of their insecurities. I feel there's a lot of guilt as well because this energy knows they deceived you in the worst way. There's deception, dishonesty, dishonesty, and there's a sense of guilt because they had no loyalty, no remorse for what they did. In fact, I feel this is someone who caused you to cut ties or they severed the connection without a confession without any reason why but I also feel they're being enlightened someone's being enlightened about a soulmate someone's being enlightened by the connection they have with you how detached they were when it comes to the commitment 
now they regret not surrendering to the connection and being immature about immature about a situation because they should have been loyal and vulnerable with you not those that they have chose to trust because now they're realizing the true deception lies with those that they are currently around I feel this is someone who is lacking identity and even which way to go because they fail to cons consider your feelings or emotions someone is now realizing no one is considering theirs I feel like this energy is completely living a nightmare because of their choices, bad habits, addictions, toxic ways, and I also feel there is worry. <sighs> Someone's worried about this energy doing self-harm. That is not for everyone. Please take it how it resonates with your message. But I feel the more they try to disconnect from their emotions, the more people are starting to worry. There's no balance. There's no balance when it comes to heart because they're so insecure. This energy is so worried about what others think. It's, it's ridiculous. This is why they can't have a fresh start and living in a nightmare because they still resist balance. Someone is resisting a new perspective. They're not being honest with anyone else, even themselves. This is a falsehood that they are being awakened to. I also feel they're being awakened to the fact that they lack attention in these codependent ways. Someone is realizing they were too transparent with the wrong energies. Now I feel they're being awakened to some type of bad habits of others. Awakened to the fact that they may not have this fresh start. But as I said before, this energy is being guided to drop the act when it comes to unhealthy dynamics or even a toxic environment. But I since they also know revealing the truth or their hand in this mess is the only way back. It's the only way out. Yet I feel this energy is just not ready to do that. I feel this energy has been running from the situation for so long and lying so much. They genuinely don't know the difference between their lies and the truth. Causing more fear and hesitation as this energy knows that you have questions. This energy knows that you have questions that they don't really know how to answer. So they control their urges of missing you by pretending you're not there. I feel like this energy is needing to feel what they had with you was meaningless or overrated when truthfully, no one ever loved them the way you did. And they're reminded of that every time they reflect on their losses because trust me they're losing but I also feel there's so much going on I feel like there's so much going on that they can't really envision positive change in their life so they may continue to do what's easy thinking it's right thinking it's best but I also feel this energy is trying to compromise in some type of way. This energy is trying to compromise when it comes to a fresh start. They know they need you. But they can't stop running from themselves, their own intentions, communication. But this realization of deception and clarity is right there in their face. As I said before, there there's a lot of red flags when dealing with this situation. This energy is trying to go deeper. But they know they neglected you. This energy is in deep thought about the negligence or the mischievous behavior, even the interferences. Those they chose to trust over you. Now, there's a sense of sorrow. Well, someone regrets letting their sorrow lead them, misguide them. Because now they miss you in the worst way. Someone is thinking about how they allow the sorrow of their pain to misguide them, divide them. Now they are reminiscing about the memories, which only lead them to anger. Someone's angry that they were blindfolded by these influences, these toxic energies that they now realize never had their best interest at heart.
Now they think about the falsehoods they were told, even this karmic energy and the fact that they were too prideful to see a truth. Now this energy is sitting in regret because they were in denial about the unconditional energy you always gave. I feel like this energy could be procrastinating about their choices because they, these choices have turned into lessons. These choices have turned into lessons because this energy was immature in a situation that they should have surrendered to. They should have surrendered to you. Something that was solid and true. Yet, now this energy is detached because they don't have you. I feel like this energy never expected to feel this way. I also feel this is why they're confused because they thought that they were getting what they wanted. But in the process, they lost what they needed. I feel this energy is now re reflecting or realizing that, and it's also become a hard pill to swallow. This energy is trying to understand their choices. They've tr they're trying to understand why they've done all of this to you, but they don't understand their choices as well because they made it from a very emotional space. Let's get some final energy here. I feel like this is someone who is very aware of what they lack or fail to give you. But I feel they have still shown no true remorse or regret that makes any sense. But I also feel that's all about to change. Oh, for many of you, you're protecting self, learning to love self. Someone thinks that you have done something spiritually to them. Someone feels like you've cursed them in some type of way because you let go. But I feel you let go because you had to release the past to find self. I feel like this energy could have tried to make something work, but I feel they tried to make something work with the wrong one. Now they feel they can't move on. Well, someone feels like they have to stack money or do something different. This energy feels like they're going to have to bring more back to you. Whatever this is, this energy feels some way, somehow, they owe you. Someone could owe you financially, emotionally. Whatever this is, this energy feels they lack it. They don't have much of it. But whatever the case, this energy is needing to heal. The cat's out of the bag when it comes to boasting you. This energy is not in a very good headspace either. They feel like you're playing hard to get. But I feel this energy also knows they were very irresponsible when it comes to you. I feel like this is someone who definitely wakes up with you on their mind, on their brain. And they're starting to see something differently. I feel like this energy is waking up with you on the brain. And they're starting to see something different about those they tr chose to trust. This could also be an environment. But they feel like they need to set some boundaries move on, move forward, but they feel like there's a lot of judgment here when it comes to their choices. This energy is concerned. Someone's concerned that you won't open up or someone's scared to open up to you because they know they never really wanted to leave, but I feel this energy thought you would chase. Someone thought that you would fix this and they're struggling to hold on. Someone's struggling to hold on to something that they know they've lost. Someone feels you are no longer the person they used to manipulate. You've changed. That's what I keep hearing. You've changed. Um, I don't feel you've changed at all. You're just tired of the disrespect and the competition. Someone is struggling to hold on. They're disappointed about the fact that they put you in competition because they feel what they've done is unforgivable. This is someone who is emotionally, mentally, spiritually drained because they thought whatever they did to you would never broke the bond. Someone thought that they could do whatever and you would never leave. So they purposely make you look bad. So someone purposely made you look bad. Now they feel defeated, stressed out, because you're no longer in pain, and they are. This is someone who is triggered and wanting to see something differently when it comes to the connection they have with you, but they feel that something is stuck. Someone's triggered by the fact that they're now seeing the true colors of those they're 
that are surrounding them. They're angry, frustrated, and thinking about how heartless they were with you. Someone was heartless when testing the limits, the boundaries, the respect, because they were being childish, lashing out, rebelling, and now they're standing alone. This energy is standing alone and completely annoyed. This energy is annoyed because they know they're looking like a clown, a fool, for hurting you. For some of you, there are energies looking at them like, you're so stupid. Why did you leave in the first place? Someone is asking, why did you leave in the first place? But someone made so many assumptions about you, they got lost in their own mess. And now many of you could care less. Someone is having visions of the past. Hmm. But they also feel like you don't care. And it's driving them crazy. This energy feels the more things are fading away, the more they lack the chance to come back. But as I said before, this is someone who wants to circle the block. Someone wants to come your way, but they feel they no longer have that in invitation. And for others, they know that you're expecting them, but they're just not ready for the change. But as I said before, that is all about the change. I feel like something is about to change when it comes to their energy or something that is surrounding them. And they don't really have any control over it because there's a deep sense of regret here. For many of you, there's a deep sense of regret because they thought the bond that you guys had was unbreakable. Only because you were always compromising. You were always trying to help. Regardless of who they were at the time, I feel you were always trying to build them up. And now, this energy is upset and frustrated because you finally turned your back because you finally let go of what you can no longer control. And now that's driving them crazy, to putting them in a space to where they're holding some sort of resentment because they tried to hurt you and ended up hurting themselves in the process by giving something or someone else the attention you deserved or needed. But I also feel it's the very reason they can't have this fresh start or the fact that they continue to lose. I feel this is someone who knows they brought you a lot of disappointment. They're the reason this bond is broken, not you. Because from what I can see, they seem to be trauma bonding in a toxic environment or situation that seems to bring more pain than progress. Yet I also feel they're staying because there are no suitable options left. I feel there's no real options left and this was why this energy is continuing to stay or be comfortable in their mess. But trust me, they're uncomfortable. They're just not moving. Someone could be sleeping on the couch or bouncing around from place to place, but whatever the case, this energy is upset because they don't have the same respect or conditions that they were once living in. Someone's thinking about stepping up or standing up for themselves. But they feel like whoever this is that they are surrounded by are two steps ahead. And thinking they have no way of controlling what's coming their way. In fact, I feel this is someone who is dealing with someone who is clinically crazy or disconnected from self. I feel this is someone who is needing to realize they're in a mess and there's no way of getting out of this cycle. They just have to complete it. Someone's going to have to go through it to get through it. And there's truly no way of getting around that. As I said before, someone could be bouncing around, sleeping couch to couch, and others are starting to feel like they're mentally disturbed or bipolar crazy. This energy is very moody. Someone's realizing something cannot be saved. So I feel like this is someone who's trying to make something work because, as I said before, there's really not any options left here. But I also feel they couldn't see something before. They couldn't see the fact that someone was toying with their emotions, someone was playing with their head, and now they see it. Someone's thinking, what was I thinking? 
I should have went home. Someone knows that they should have went home. They should have ran back to you. They should have came back with an apology. And for others, someone should have been begging for your respect, your love, your energy. Someone should have been on their knees pleading for you to take them back because they know they don't belong where they are. Someone knows that they don't belong with the energies around them. They stand out like a sore thumb. They were only in it for the resources. They were only in it for the sex. But now they feel they were easily fooled by someone who was toying with their emotions and their mind. This could be lovers, friends, even family. They played them like a fool. Now they could be highly pissed, but there's nothing they can do about it. Someone is upset, no longer feeling the situation in, that they're in, but I feel like it takes two. Hmm. Because the person that they're around or the environment that they are bound to is also toxic. It's coming out as a toxic situation that is shallow and keeping them stuck in the past. Someone is trying to keep them in the headspace of you're not going to get forgiveness, so don't even try. Someone is letting them know that something is too dangerous or it will never work out. Someone is keeping the doubt flowing here. So I definitely feel this is a third party energy. Of course, this could be a jealous situation where someone is not wanting them to have the respect or the love or the status they had with you. I feel like this third party energy feels like they got one over on you. This third party is feeling like they got what they wanted in spite of you or someone feels they took something from you that would have otherwise been yours had they not stepped in. This energy seems to be on cloud nine, not realizing there's a lot they don't know and they're about to find out. As this is someone who feels a sense of superiority because in many ways, this energy feels like they want up to in some type of way. This is an empty reward or a shallow victory that they have yet to see is a rude awakening, a rude awakening when it comes to karma. As I sense, it won't take long for this energy to realize they're getting the same toxic treatment as you did. And trust me, someone's about to figure that out. Because as I said before, there's a lot of shallow energy here of someone keeping someone in a heart fog or some type of confusion. This is someone who is cloudy or uh, their mind is really all over the place. But I feel something goes both ways here. Whether that is the toxic energy or the shallow energy, toxic energy, someone's head in the clouds. But these energies, they don't like to hear the truth. Someone's secretly obsessing. Someone is about to get the fuck out. I don't know. This is getting deep. And it's only getting deeper. Someone's thinking about why they did this. And they're starting to think it was never... It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth what they lost. It's not worth what they're losing. They're seeing it now. But they feel like this energy or these energies around them are just too smart or always a step ahead. Like I say, someone feels like they're crazy or someone is trying to drive them crazy. Someone is doing something on purpose to keep them lost or low vibration. And the spark the, the chemistry is gone. <sighs> this energy feels like the chemistry that was there is no longer there. And they feel like they can't have friends. Like, I, I can't trust these people. I should have never put myself in this position. And now that's all they can think about. For some of you, there was a warning. There was a warning and this person didn't listen. This warning could have been from you. This warning could have been from someone that they were close to, but they didn't listen. Now, there's not a lot of energies around to give them support. And now they're in deep regret for trying to affect you with this third party. I also feel, for many of you, they try to make you feel like you were missing out when really you were winning. As these two are completely miserable. Yet I also feel they're cut from the same cloth and suffering through it together. 
which is even worse because as I said before, the more this energy loses, the more they think about you. There's nothing else to do. They don't really have anything to look forward to. They don't care about those that they have surrounded themselves with because they were only to get a reaction out of you. But for many of you, they didn't like the reaction they got because it only pushed you further away. Now there's a sense of emotion. Someone is crying crocodile tears here because now things are falling apart. Things are falling apart because someone didn't listen and they didn't take this step back to get a better perspe perspective of a situation. And they feel like they can't seem to break free of something that is now overwhelming. There's unpaid bills. Someone could be getting kicked out, stolen money, and someone pretending like nothing ever happened. Yet I feel them pretending is only gonna <laughs> make things worse. Things are only getting worse because this energy is not seeing the truth. They're being stubborn. But I also feel them being stubborn has also led them to this space that's gonna leave a lot of wear and tear. Because I feel what's coming this energy's way, they're not prepared for it. They're not prepared for it mentally, spiritually, emotionally, financially. This energy is coming up short. It is no joke. I feel like this energy is going through a lot because they were going back and forth with something. This could have been a decision, but I feel like it only created more karma. It only created more karma in a situation because they were going back and forth on about a situation, back and forth about a decision, or back and forth in and out of your life. Now they're realizing something or someone was up to no good. Someone's true colors are being revealed here and they didn't see it coming. So I definitely feel this is someone who didn't see something coming or they won't see something coming because I feel like there's going to be a triggering event here. I feel like something's about to happen that's about to send shock waves through their life, causing them to embark on a, a journey of humility, true regret, and karma. I believe karma is about to humble their soul. And as I said before, there is no way around it. Someone's going to have to face this head on. And for many of you, they know something is up. This could even be your energy. Someone knows something is up here. They feel it. This is very calculating. Whoever is trying to make a move here is very calculating about it, possibly even good at it, because they've left them stuck or misguided. What makes you think they won't keep it going? As I feel, it's just, it's all about the win and nothing else. I feel there is something calculating going on here and I feel that it's hard lessons. I feel there's hard lessons here taking place and there could be some incoming tea about it. So for some of you, you're about to hear about someone's mess or faded chemistry, some faded energy that they have going around them. Someone's connection has faded and someone's real eager to let you know that the T, because there's a lot going on here. There's some physical violence. There's a, a addictions, abuse. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Someone's being abused financially. Someone's money is being stolen. Someone's wanting to have a deep conversation. And this conversation seems to be long overdue. <clears throat> For some of you, there will be a conversation here. For others, you want no part of this. You're moving on and you're letting this person sit in their misery. For many of you, you feel they deserve it and rightfully so. But for others, I feel there will be a deep conversation here and you're gonna have to take the lead because this energy will talk in circles. You're just gonna have to hit them direct with questions because if you don't ask, they won't tell because they're gonna try to come back. Someone's gonna try to come back but for many of you, you feel like it just, this just can't be fixed. There's too much damage. There's too much resentment and not enough love and history to back it up. Wow. I feel like this can or can't be fixed. It's up to you. For many of you taking a step back or allowing this person to see or experience this situation, it's a good thing, even though it doesn't feel like it. 
Protecting yourself is the only way. Someone needs to know that you're unfazed. Someone needs to know that you can grow without them because it's energy needed to know they're better off with you, not without you. But I also feel that is something they needed to learn on their own. As I sense many of you have learned a lot and has grown from this. However, your counterpart or your loved one hasn't been so lucky. I feel this is why you had to protect yourself and others. You're being protected at all costs. As this energy is not being allowed to enter your space without being healed, without change, without the respect. Until then, this energy will still get the same energy that has been given. Because even if they seem to be content where they are, or even with their choices, they're not. Because someone is always tripping on them, always talking shit or telling them what they're not doing right. There's narcissist energy here. This could be their energy or theirs. But as I said before in this reading, it takes one to no one. And they're dealing with someone who is cut from the same cloth, which is also part of the karma. Because they have invested their time and energy into things that fed on their soul rather than fed into it. The path this energy chose to take only destroyed what could have been, all because they chose to be controlled by what they wanted to hide. Now they're stuck. Stuck in the space of guilt. I feel this energy is needing to learn this, needing to see this, because this energy was always shallow. shallow and easily fooled because they are too prideful to hear the truth. Now someone is coming out of the clouds and accepting the fact that what they have with you might just be a thing of the past. As many things cannot be undone as many of their repeated cycles now have purpose. I feel these cycles have purpose because now they're lessons that need to be respected and understood, as it seems, a heavy debt is due. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.